As we know, Flutterflow has some widget called the table. With this widget, uh, we can create some component look like a table and showing our data uh, either that from Firebase, Superbase or uh, just an API I mean the REST API the view will be look like this and um, if oh, we want to add a new new document uh, we can uh, put some trigger to showing the model or the tile page and putting in inputting the data but in this tutorial I want to modify the data table so uh, we can directly modify the, da the data directly into the, the data table so the idea uh, will be look like the super best this is uh, one of my dummy data on the Superbase. So to modify the data, we just need to directly modify the column. And when the cursor change, uh, data will be changed. So I already created uh, the things like that. Will be look like this. Uh, the idea is putting the text field inside the data tables so uh, when I uh, modify the text field the data will be directly modified so how, how I uh, doing that First thing first is uh, we going to the data table, the normal data table. Uh, normally, uh, I put the X widget inside the data table cell, but uh, to to change this to the text field, we just uh, need to replace widget and then uh, right click and replace widget text field but uh, if we're doing that uh, this, uh, the error will be show uh, telling us to uh, uh, we can do that because uh, that's uh, the generate generate data inside the data table so that's not the uh, best practice so uh, instead of directly putting the text field inside the data cell data table cell you need to convert that text field into into component. So on the component, uh, you need to create some parameter. type is document in this case I'm using Firebase and we need to parsing the parameter with the data table data the generating data table data and then we can uh, put the value to the tax field with the fields from the parameters and then uh, we can uh, showing the data with the tax field can see the data now showing by a text field widget 
but uh, to modify the data uh, you need to add some action inside the tax field so the action even event is uh, when on focus chain that document and select the reference parameter and add fields that uh, you want to edit in this case uh, display name and put the value from the widget the tax field Okay, now uh, we can modify the data with the directly added on the tax field. Yeah, you can see the data is successfully changed. So uh, you can uh, do the same thing with the name fields to the font fields. That's uh, quite simple, I think. And yeah, that's it uh, for this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.